going on YouTube? Kurtz S7 here for some Pro Evolution Soccer 2016 game play. Yes, I was invited from a company called Surprise Attack. Check them out. Their link is in the description. Uh, they work with Konami. Obviously, Konami make Pro Evolution Soccer. So they sent us an invite. When I say us, me and a few other YouTubers. So as you can see in the top right hand corner in this game, I'm playing Edgar11 TV, another Australian YouTuber. Also in the background there is Footy Manager TV and also Pepsi FIFA was there. So it was pretty cool to test out this game with another uh, few other Australian YouTubers. All their links are going to be in the description, by the way. So that was pretty cool how we all got to meet up. So yeah, Surprise Attack uh, invited us to come down and test out Pro Evolution. Now, this wasn't the full game. This was just the demo. So we could only pretty much test the gameplay. And the teams that were available were Bayern Munich, Juventus, Roma, Corinthians, Palermas, Brazil, and France. So it was pretty much just game after game after game, testing the passing, testing the shooting, testing the running, testing everything you possibly can in the gameplay. Now, first things first, I'm just going to say uh, I was pretty impressed with Pro Evolution. Now, just a quick recap on Pro Evo. Just want to let you guys know where I come from when it comes to Pro Evolution. I used to be a FIFA fan way back in the day. I'm talking like FIFA 97, FIFA 98, FIFA 98 World Cup, FIFA 99. Used to love that. But in the early 2000s, I kind of switched to Pro Evo. So Pro Evo 3 I really got into, Pro Evo 4, and that's what I really picked. Pro Evo 5, Pro Evo 6. And back then, Pro Evo was the best soccer football game in the world. It was on top by a mile. It was no comparison. It was It's pretty much the way it is right now. But right now, FIFA's on top of Pro Evo. Well, that's how much Pro Evo used to dominate back in the day. Um, back on the PlayStation 2 days I'm talking about here. So yeah, Pro Evo back in the day, I used to love the game. It just felt so good. And it reminded me when I jumped on and played these games uh, the other day that how much of, uh, of the gameplay I actually missed from Pro Evolution Soccer. Now also, a lot of you guys who are subscribed to me know that I love real life football. Now, this game compared to real life football is awesome. It really is. So, like, look at that through ball right there. Even though my player didn't get it. By the way, I'm France. Even though my player didn't get it. That pass, that through ball, the way the curve was, very, very real life like in my opinion. And that's the one thing I loved about Provo. But yeah, anyways, getting back to uh, the testing. Now, the YouTubers, us guys, got to test this game for about four to five hours. Just one game after another, after another, which was fantastic. And then after that, Surprise Attack uh, had a tournament for um, people like um, the, the, the invites that they sent was to the publishers and uh, to the press and people like that. They got some beers, they got some pizzas, and we had a tournament uh, which went for another few hours, which was unreal, uh, which Edgar ended up winning the whole tournament. It was a 2 on 2 tournament. Uh, he beat me and my partner, which um, we came second, but uh, Edgar won that. Fair play to them. And that was so much fun. There was red cards. There was penalties. It had the whole lot, that tournament. It was so much fun. And I really enjoyed my time with... Uh, Pro Evo. Now, I'm not going to be blindsided. I'm not going to say, oh, this is the best game ever, this and that. Because I know what it's like when you get something new. You love it so much just because it's new. So, I, I'm going to give you my honest opinion here. Get my head straight. Um, I don't think Pro Evo will dominate FIFA in the next year. I still think FIFA 16 will be the better game, in my opinion. Just because it's going to be a lot more complete. But what I will say is that Pro Evo will take a huge step next year, or when this game is released, to catch up to FIFA. It seems like they're heading in the right direction. Now, like I said, this is just gameplay we could test, and the gameplay that we've tested here was so good. It was really, really good. Now, it was a bit hard to get used to for some of the lads. I already use the Pro Evo buttons from way back in the day. That's how I play uh, FIFA right now. On the Xbox controller, I actually use uh, X to shoot. So on the PlayStation, that square. I already play that way now. And B on the Xbox controller is the cross and uh, circle on the PlayStation as well. So they're my buttons. Uh, so I was very, very familiar with the Pro Evo controller. 
and from the get-go it felt comfortable to me i felt really really good uh but it was a little bit weird to get used to the tricks as i did that uh, skill move there with pogba um it was a little bit hard trying to do step overs because i do love uh, a good old step over, but no, I love tricks in general, so to do the tricks in Pro Evo was very hard to get used to, you're obviously going to need to spend time uh, practicing the moves, but in saying that lads, uh, the actual gameplay in itself, for me, was very, very smooth, now the passing is, like I said before, is a lifelike, whether it's short range, whether it's long range, it was very, very smooth. It just, the, the inside of the passes, there was a lot of the outside of the foot passes as well, uh, which is more lifelike because you see a player, you know, just say he's left footed, you know, on the touchline and he's trying to curve it to his mate. Sometimes they use the right side of the, uh, sorry, the outside of the foot down the line. And in this game, it replicates that. Uh, so that was really cool to see, in my opinion. Yeah, like I said, felt so smooth. Now, shooting. Now, when it came uh, to shooting, Shooting for me in Pro Evo needs a little bit of work. Now, I'm not saying it's terrible, but it's not the best either, in my opinion. Finesse shots are fantastic. Finesse shots, I think they got that down pat. Finesse shots for me in Pro Evo, we're not overpowered, we're not underpowered. We're just like like the passing, like lifelike. They were really spot on, in my opinion. Now, you can score goals outside the box with finesse. That doesn't mean it's overpowered, because in real life, how many goals you see from outside the box where players use the inside of their foot? So, it does happen in real life, but on, pre on Pez, it's the actual normal shot that I couldn't really get used to. It just felt too... How can I say it? What's the best way to describe it? it felt, I felt like I was a robot and not a player where you could actually use open up your foot or use the outside of the foot, I just felt like I didn't have enough control when it comes to shooting. Now, one thing I loved about this game was the player movement on and off the ball. Your teammates actually help you in looking for that option as I score a lovely, a lovely goal with Lacazette there. Let's take a look at this replay as well. And by the way, celebrations are fantastic as well now. Celebrations, there's a whole list of celebrations you can choose from when you score a goal. Like Totti pulled out his iPhone and took a selfie. But anyways, as we get back to the replays here, and replays as well, they go so far back as I get the ball with Lacazette. Now, talking about finish shots, Look at this, outside uh, the box, Finesse, the goalkeeper had no chance. What a goal against Edgar. How do you like them apples, Edgar? Only if I had to rip something like that out in the final and beat Edgar, but oh well, what do you do? It's just a little bit of fun. But there, yeah, that's what I was saying about the, the Finesse goals. You can score them outside the box, but getting back to the movement of players on and off the ball, uh, when you don't have the ball... Uh, defending is so much, I wouldn't say like so, so much easier, but your players are in better positions when you don't have the ball. And that's the same when you do have the ball as well, when you're actually attacking and going forward. Uh, your strikers are making runs, not always the same run trying to get in behind. They're trying to cut down the line, they try to, you know, be the man, give you that option, that short option as well. That is one thing that really, really impressed me as well when it comes to the gameplay. And there wasn't that so much congestion on the pitch. You know when you play FIFA, you play online, it's just like, I don't mean to swear, but it's just a shit fight in the middle. It's just like, you know, you, you pass the ball, you lose possession, it's back and forth, back and forth, and it's just like, man, give me some space. And that's what this game is. This game is space. Now, this game is about stats as well. Um, a lot of stats in this game are incorrect, in my opinion. But like I said before, this game is not uh, finished. So there's still like over a month until the full game is out. So I'm pretty sure Konami are still going to make changes as Karim Benzema finds the top corner. What a goal that was on the volley. Volleys in this game, I, I'd say, are probably a little bit overpowered. Just a tad. I'm not saying too much. Just a little bit. Um, one thing that I hate about FIFA is overhead through balls. Now, they are so overpowered. And I really like Pez back in the day because uh, overhead through balls were not overpowered. You don't see overhead through balls in real life that much. Like, it's so rare to see an overhead through ball 
playing the Sam Allardyce way over the top. But in FIFA, it must happen at least 20 times a game. And I see Pez uh, are making, uh, well, I'm not saying they're changing towards that way, but they are leaning that way where overhead through balls are a little bit overpowered. Get your comments down below. Do overhead through balls do your head in? Because they absolutely do my head in in FIFA. But in saying that, Lovely goal there by Karim Benzema. So like I was saying before, there's still over a month until this game actually comes out. Uh, so in this game, we still had like Vidal at Juventus. He wasn't at Bayern. So all their stats, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that all their stats were wrong as well. Because players like uh, Thiago Alicantara had an overall rating of 88. Yeah, Thiago Alicantara. 88. That is crazy. As Danilo gets the ball down the wing, crosses it low and hard, and uh, we clear that one out of the way thanks to Morgan Schneiderlin. Now, the release date of Pro Evo 2016 is September 17th. So, like I said before, just over a month until you guys can get your hands on the full copy. But if you want to play this game right now, the demo is available on the PlayStation Network and on Xbox Live. So if you've got an Xbox One, PlayStation 4, go to the stores, download the demo. You can play right now and download it and get your comment in below and tell me what you think and your opinions about Pro Evo because it is a brilliant game in my opinion. It's definitely a huge step up compared to where Pez used to be a few years ago. Like I said before, this is the year Pez are going to make a huge step towards EA Sports and challenging FIFA in my opinion. So that's it lads for Pro Evolution. Let me know in the comments down below if you want more Pro Evo videos. But uh, once again, a shout out to Surprise Attack. Thank you very so much for the opportunity to test out Pro Evolution. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. I will see you next time. Take care and peace.